Hi, I'm Pam Miner, and I am currently a fifth grade teacher with the Rockford Public School System. I teach at Marsh Elementary, and I've been teaching for about 22 years. I'm a facilitator with the Teaching with Primary Sources program at Rockford University. And today, I'm going to share with you a lesson plan that I have used in my classroom that I think effectively uses primary sources. Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet portray two ill-fated young lovers in the spectacular film Titanic, a story set amid the sinking of the RMS Titanic. Imagine taking a group of fifth graders and showing them a primary source, getting their minds to engage in a period of history to test their assumptions. What they begin to discover is that people really lived during that time period, lived and breathed just like they do now. To survive the devastation of the Titanic is tantamount to present-day disaster stories. Students delve into the past and they become historians themselves. Finally, students are asked to take the facts that they discover and they create a narrative of the moment of the sinking of the Titanic. They use the factual details that they discover and then they are going to be asked to weave a story out of those facts. Let's take a look at our first primary source which is the front page of the world. Seek responses from students that ask them to observe, reflect, and question what they are seeing. Bring a copy of today's newspaper in. How does the front page compare to the front page of today's newspaper? How do we get our breaking news today? Let's talk about how we got our news back then. This next image is a tool that I often use in my classroom. It's a graphic organizer. This tool will help students to analyze the primary sources in an organized and circular fashion. There is no correct order, but students should identify and note details. They will generate hypotheses as they reflect. They will produce questions that will lead to more investigation and thought. Together, in pairs or small groups, they will fill out this graphic organizer as they examine their primary source. The lesson continues on another day, examining another primary source. This one is a picture of two children. Are they two boys, a boy and a girl, two girls? My students recognize that there's a heading, Lewis and Lola, with a question mark, survivors. This raises so many questions. The two children are dressed so differently from today. The students will again fill out a primary source organizer in pairs, small groups, as they collaborate and question together. They will realize they have many unanswered questions about all three primary sources. Now is the time to investigate and research. This is the time when I take my students into the computer lab. They begin to do their research. They read explicit details and they begin to draw inferences about what they're reading. They examine multiple accounts of that same moment in history. They note important similarities and differences. They're taking notes, and when they're finished, they will take those notes and weave a story. They will test the reliability of those sources. They will question the authenticity of what they are reading. And after that period of time, I call my whole class together. And that's when I say, have you ever heard the phrase, truth is stranger than fiction? And then I show them the following photograph. After a class analysis of this picture, students will learn that the two children are the orphans in the previous photo. Their father booked passage on the Titanic, then kidnapped his two boys in order to take them to America. He drowned on the Titanic but not before handing his two children to a woman in a lifeboat. They were photographed with the hope that someone would recognize and claim them. This photo is when the children were reunited with their mother in Nice, France. Students will be amazed at the story, but more importantly, they will have connected with a time in history, a time that they can connect with depth and understanding that far surpasses what would happen if I would have just handed them a story to read in a textbook. With this lesson, students will be able to observe, question, reflect, research, read, and write, and explore a moment in history and connect with a moment in the past that they will not easily forget.